Hi, this is just a quick demo to show you uh, how to get mods working with 6up data. Um, a few people have asked in the forums about how you do this. It's quite simple, really. Um, before you start 6up data, you need to make sure you've run um, Armor 2, Arrowhead, and any DLCs uh, individually just to make sure the registries are set up because uh, 6up data needs those registry settings to work out whether you've got combined ops or not. Anyway, once you've launched 6up data um, all we need to do is to first of all create uh, a profile that you want to run your game under. Um, when you first launch 6up data it gives you three I believe which are um, dynamic Armour 2 OA Ace and Armour 2 Any Vanilla. I've got quite a few more now. Anyway, we're going to create uh, a non Ace profile for now. So, first thing we need to do is to click on the Vanilla profile on the left hand side here. If we right click on there and choose Clone Preset, for a few seconds you'll see uh, a new preset appear at the bottom there. If we click on there and then right click and choose rename preset. Uh, for this one example I'm going to use the uh, Lingor map. So I'm going to call this uh, Lingor Vanilla. OK that and after a few seconds you'll see that it's changed its name. Uh, sometimes 6 updated doesn't always immediately change the name in the preset up here. Don't worry about that it has picked it up Okay, so now we have our new preset with no mods in there, so we need to go and add some mods. So head over and click on the Mods tab. Uh, if this is the first time you've uh, loaded 6up uh, data, the first thing you'll need to do is click Sync with the 6up data portal. Um, we'll do that now. What this does is go off to the 6 uh, repositories and basically gets a list of all the mods that's on their database and uh, fills up your list. <coughs> when that's finished you will see um, a load of mods in here and they all have a status of uh, I can't remember what it is now um, but they will be blue. I don't know if I've got any yes. So you have a status of install because they are not on your system yet. Anyway, once that's completed, you see a message at the bottom there. So now we're going to go off and find Lingor. So head down the list until you find Lingor. So click on that, then right click and choose Add to Preset. Now you'll see that the preset you so created before now has uh, a number of mods in there. What 6 of Data has done has not only just loaded Lingor but it's also loaded the um, dependent mods as well. <coughs> now if you haven't got those on your system they will all be blue. So what you need to do is right click on the preset, choose Updater Actions and Install or Update Mods. What this will do is go off and then grab these mods from the 6up data repository and install them on your system. It installs them all in the correct place under the um, uh, Arrowhead or Armour 2 directory depending on what uh, version you've got running. If these were all blue it will take a little longer to go through and get all these mods. Uh, I already have them so if you've already got them it just goes off and checks to make sure you've got the same version the most up-to-date version. Okay, now to run the game in combined ops uh, is quite easy really. If you've got Armour 2 loaded and you've got combined op, uh, you've got uh, Arrowhead loaded, 6up uh, data will automatically run it as combined ops and also since uh, the 1.6 patch Armour 2 uh, will do that anyway so if you run Arrowhead and you have Armour 2 installed it will automatically run as combined ops. So you can set your profile uh, what, which version it's going to run and you can if you like 
you can force it to run in Arma 2 standalone or you can force it to run in uh, Operation Arrowhead standalone but for now we'll just select Arma 2 any auto detect and this will basically just detect what version of the games you've got installed and run combined ops if you've got both Arrowhead and Arma 2. So then all you need to do is either click on the launch the game button here or you can right click on the profile you want to run choose update actions and launch the game. This will then launch the game with these mods loaded in a combined ops mode. And that's it really. I hope this helps.